Um, so now let me introduce uh, Cosmic, um, a, a, an organization that's a little closer to um, the way public invention uh, does things that, that, that they're building a ventilator and, and building more sophisticated machines. I'm afraid uh, I don't know more than that. So um, I don't know, Philip, are you going to speak first? Maybe you can introduce yourself and, and Patrick. I will. Hi, everyone. Uh, Patrick's going to share his screen, but I'll get started. I'm Dr. Philip Edgecombe, one of the co-founders and board members of Cosmic Medical, the collective open source medical innovations for COVID-19 nonprofit organization based out of Vancouver, Canada. I'm absolutely thrilled to be with such an inspiring group of innovators and change makers today, and especially honored to follow on uh, Victoria's presentation about OSMS. Uh, at Cosmic, we've worked directly with uh, Victoria and benefited greatly from the platform and resources that the OSMS has created. Uh, without further ado, I'm really thrilled to be able to introduce Patrick Wilkie, the executive director of Cosmic Medical. He's an electrical engineer by training, a dear friend and exceedingly well read in particular on the topic of the, the economics of uh, the economics of distributed organizations, as well as innovation. So Patrick, please take it from here. Thank you, Philip. So our mission at Cosmic Medical is to create abundant access to medical equipment around the world um, and in BC through open source design solutions as the vehicle to that access. And we believe in open source um, is the ability of open source to, to increase that access. And we believe in the necessity of technology for public health outcomes. Um, so to that end, um, this year we developed a suite of uh, you know, self-reinforcing and, and in a lot of ways, complementary um, respiratory devices. So the first is the bubble helmet, um, which is a, you know, kind of a bubble that goes around the patient's head, um, protects the clinicians uh, in the operating rooms and also um, contains the virus um, to the patient's uh, domain. Uh, it is a positive pressure system uh, and it is designed to be ergonomic and very comfortable for patients to wear in a variety of positions. Um, so lying down, sitting down, um, sitting up. Uh, we designed the, or are designing the gravity ventilator, um, which uses, you know, to pull from the slides earlier, a novel air drive. Um, so really designed in using this, um, the features and the physics of water to uh, provide a smoothing filter on the air pressure system such that the control system, the digital control system can be far simpler, right? Not requiring this PID control that most of the um, bag air valve systems require. Um, but all of those systems still require on this infrastructural level, which is this clinic, uh, clinical respiratory support system, right? You have to have wall air at the hospital to plug into. And one, one of the things that we saw is that um, with rapid changes in the number of patients, um, that hospital capacity could be outstripped. And to that end, our clinical respiratory support system designed this kind of scaffolding that could support additional devices to plug into. Um, they're now working as well on the oxygen concentration problem. Um, and so I've designed this kind of from left to right, you have the, the respiratory device, um, the G vent could feed a bubble helmet, for instance, but also it could just feed an intubation system. Um, the CRS supplies air to those systems. Oxygen tanks or an oxygen concentrator supplies air to the clinical respiratory manifold. Um, and so I think of this as being kind of like your, you know, devices like your toaster ovens and your things that you plug into wall power to draw this parallel to electricity. The infrastructure would be your wall outlets in your house and the material supply for electricity is the power grid that you're plugged into. All of our designs are open source um, and we require, like we really rely on um, community development as well. So please uh, submit issues, requests, forks. We're this collaborative network and one of the differentiating features of Cosmic itself is because it's it started from mostly biomedical engineers and doctors. Um, that tight feedback loop between those two uh, disciplines has enabled our development. You know, this is um, just, we're complex, uh, we have a complex communication and network structure. Um, and I think that reflects the nature of the kind of innovation that we're doing and our flexibility to develop new products and services. 
Thank you, Patrick. Great work as usual. We hope that all of you will join us for our monthly symposium on January 21st at 1730 Pacific Standard Time. Our invited guest uh, at that event will be none other than Mr. Robert Reed. Really excited to uh, be able to host Robert. Uh, it's an opportunity for everyone to take a deeper dive into what we're doing at Cosmic, uh, get a sense of how you could con potentially contribute and get to know our Cosmic community members via our uh, meet and greet that happens virtually after the meeting. Thanks a lot. And uh, Patrick and I are really looking forward to continuing the collaborations and, and conversations going forward. Yeah, finally, one last point. We need a little bit of extra help on the um, manufacturing and production engineering and, and actually scaling and getting devices uh, ready for market. So we're, we've been pretty good at the these first seven stages. I pulled this from open source ecology. I, I like the framework. Um, but yeah, needing help on the kind of end uh, stages of product release.